So once we have seen the theory of threads, let's see the practical implementation of it. Now, as you know that in by default in your code you have one thread which is main thread, right? So we we do have a main thread by default. So all this execution is done by main thread, right? So if you write any statement here, so if you write system dot out dot print ln, and if you print, let's say, good. So even this will be printed by your main thread. So everything you do in your code, all the execution is done by main thread. Okay, that's your one thread, right? And let's say if you have a class and that class is calculator, if you create the object of a calculator, if you try to call all the functions, all the methods, that methods will be called by that main thread. So by default, we just have one thread, okay? Now, what we'll do in this code is, let, I, want to, I want to do something, like I want to do, I want to print hi five times and I want to print hello five times. And that's my typical example, which I take every time. So let's say we have this hi here, we have, we have hi class and we also have hello class. Okay, so we have two classes here. We have class hi and class hello. In this class hi, we have a method which is public void show, and in this show, I will I will use a for loop because I want to print hi five times. Okay, so I will say for loop int i equal to one, i less than equal to five, and i plus plus. And here I will print. I will print hi okay and uh, let me copy the same code in hello and here we'll print five times hello so we are printing five times hi and five times hello here okay and to call those methods we have to create object right that's the only way to call methods here so we'll say new hi and we'll say hello obj2 equal to new hello so we got these two objects. So we have we have show method here, we have show method here, and then we are creating the object. Let's call those methods. So we'll say obj1.show and we'll say obj2.show. Okay. And so if I run this code, we'll be getting our output. We got five times hi and we got five times hello. Right? Uh it is it is running because you are calling obj1.show when you call this. So your main thread will go to this show. And it will execute the complete method. It will execute this for loops. It will execute this for loop, and then you'll be executing this high statement five times. The same thing. Once it is done, your obj2 will call show. That means it will call this method. It will print hi hello five times, right? And now what I want to do is, I mean, the output I want is I want to, I want to see it is printing. I want to see. Uh, high should be printed and then because if I run this code, it's so instant we get we're getting all the output, right? I want to see one one thing executing. So I want to I want to print high, then I want to take some pause and then I it will print high. So there should be a pause of at least half a second. Okay. Now how to achieve that pause? Now since by default everything is everything is executed by thread, we can actually make your thread wait for some time or you will you can suspend your thread. So how do we suspend our thread is we can use thread.sleep. So it's a method which we use to suspend our thread. So we can say thread.sleep and we can specify some time here. So when you say thread.sleep 500, it is it means 500 milliseconds, which, which is approximately half a second. Because 1000 milliseconds is one second. Now the problem is it is a uh, it, it may throw an exception so this is a checked exception so it is we should handle the exception uh, so we can use try catch here let me write try catch in one line itself again we can write try catch in multiple lines but i will prefer here to write it in one line because i know there will not be any error because of this why to waste multiple lines so we have this one line let me just copy this and let's do the same thing for hello now if you run this code what will happen is your thread will wait for half a second so you can see it is it is printing it is waiting for half a second it is printing this one waiting for half a second printing this waiting for half a second so you can see it is it is waiting for some time so that is half a second okay if you increase this increase this time it will wait for some more time there 
Okay, so we are getting the output in uh, after some waiting some time, right? Now, if I if I make it one, if I make it thousand, it will it will wait for one complete second, right? If I run this code now, so you can see it is printing high, then waiting for one second, printing high, waiting for one second, then it is printing. So it took it took five seconds to print all highs. It took five it took five seconds to print all hello, right? So when you know that you know, this loop will take this method will take five seconds, this method will be executed after five seconds, right? I mean, just imagine we are not doing we are not doing any sleep method here. It is internally we are doing some programming, we are doing some stuff which will take five seconds. So in that scenario, your other your other method has to wait for five seconds, right? And that doesn't look good because if your one thread, one method is busy executing something and the other other methods are waiting for the first method what exactly we should be doing is if one method is executing on one code of your processors since, since we have multiple processors in, in our machine if one thread is, is busy work i mean is, if one method is busy uh, on one code this method can be executed parallelly right i mean there is no dependency on these two methods right there is no dependency of uh, on of hello on hi so we can execute them parallelly okay now how to execute them parallelly so when you when you say you want to execute them parallelly that means the output we are expecting is something like this we should be getting high then we should be getting hello then we should be getting high then we should be getting hello so we want high and hello alternate so the way you can do that is by making these classes as threads now how do you make a thread so it is very easy you just have to say your class will extend thread so if you do this your class will extend thread both the, in both the scenario if you do this what will happen is if i if i run this code uh okay it is not running parallelly it's because just but just by saying extends thread it will not make a thread right you have to do something that something is whenever you create a thread you have to start the thread because now this this high is not a normal class it's a thread now right because every time you extend with thread your class also becomes thread so this object here also becomes a thread so what we'll do is we'll say obj1 obj1 dot start can you see that we got a new method now start and it belongs to our class thread here can you see that okay so we'll say obj1 dot start and then we say obj2 dot start okay it should work now and if you run this code oh my god it is still not working in parallelly the problem is when you say start internally so when, every time you say start internally thread executes a method that is run method so whenever you whenever, whenever you say start internally in thread we, we always call a run method which means instead of calling show we should be calling run because start always calls run. Uh, it, it seems a bit confused, it, it, it seems a bit difficult initially, but don't worry, once we complete the whole example, you will get the gist of it. So when you say, when you say, when you call start, it will call run method here. And if you run this code now, can you see that? We got hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, hello in parallel. So the way we do that is we, we have to say, obj1.start and then the start will call run so instead of calling show we need to call run so whatever logic you are writing here that should be a part of run method okay so run is the internal method of thread so whenever you create a thread it is your responsibility to override this run method okay now but hold on there is there is a, there is a small issue here the issue is you can see we got hi hello we got hi hello but unfortunately we are getting hello first why not hi uh, it's because what is happening is when you say obj1 dot start i mean we are starting both the thread at the same time okay there's a there's a there's a difference of 1 milliseconds maybe so what is happening is when your when your thread goes for the execution so let's say your thread want to execute hi or print hi your CPU is only one, right? So CPU will say, okay, uh, you want to print high, just print it. So it is printing high. Then hello goes and say, I want to print hello. It says, okay, hello, you also print. Then high goes and then high says, I want to print. Hello says, I want to print. 
but somewhere between but they both are reaching at the same time okay so let's say we have two cores and they both are reaching to this scheduler so we have in your os you have something called as scheduler so both the threads reaches to the schedule at the same time and now both the thread says hey i want to i want to get executed now your scheduler says hey hold down uh i cannot execute both at the same time so i have to choose between you there are multiple criteria based on which your scheduler will pick up one one thread so criteria like the thread priority uh, criteria like the less time so a, a a thread which less which will take less time will be executed first so there are different different uh, properties based on which it it will select but in this scenario both the threads hi and hello they have they don't have any priorities i mean they have a default priority uh, they they have the same time of execution so at this point of time your scheduler will take will go for a random order so it will choose any any thread at random and that's why somewhere in between it will print hello because it is going for some random stuff now if you don't want to don't want to get that what you can do is from start itself we can have a delay of some second between these two threads so that they will not match it up if you add a delay of 10 milliseconds what will happen is hi will execute and after 10 milliseconds hello will execute so there will not be any clash between these two and if you can see this we got the output as hi hello hi hello hi hello so that's how we can achieve a uh, working of threads okay so that's the that's the uh, that's the example of thread in the next video we'll talk about how to do the same stuff with the help of a uh, interface because we have used a thread class here can i use a interface here so that will see because i mean why we need a interface that is because uh, let's say i have i already have a class called as a and this class hi want to extend a class a and unfortunately in java we cannot achieve multiple inheritance right we cannot because you, you cannot say class hi extends a and thread both so for that we need to use some interface and how to do that that we'll see in the next video